and we're back for episode three. On this Mike ride, we are not alone. We're gonna be joining Bernard Kerr, but don't worry. We're not joining him live. We're joining him through the wonders of technology. Thought I might as well just start it off with a track anyway. Uh, good having tracks in, isn't it? You might notice I'm in the same clothes. That's because I'm banging these episodes out. Try and get like, maybe I'll try and do more than one at a time. I don't know. So this track's pretty rad, but I'm riding it real slow, so it's not that rad. No, it's still good. I'm still very lucky to be able to ride it. Man, it's amazing how tiring it is. Like braking and riding slowly. Way more tiring. Around the jump, that's the only time you've ever seen me do that. Nice. All right, so I'm currently rushing to get somewhere where I'll have signal. There's too many things I've got to think about here. Because if I go out of signal, how boring will it be? Like already it's a stretch, man. You're filming my face talking and then it's going to be my face talking and hopefully I'll be able to learn to put Bernard's face in as well. But if we run out of signal, imagine how boring that's going to be. Well, maybe you won't have to imagine. Coming up next. Uh, bonjour. Hello and welcome to the show. <laughs> we have our is first this actually guest. It? This is it, dude. This is it. I'm actually recording. Are you recording? I am recording. I'm having a few camera issues though. Right, talk me through your setup. I've seen a brief photo of it. <laughs> But I got to quickly stop because I wasn't even quite ready. Mate, all good. So look, to even start my rides, I got to quickly put my zip ties and my fanny pack away. Mate, it's good. If you're and recording, it's still good. I think we're going. Yeah, we're going. The only problem I've got is my um, camera's a bit low. I zip tied it. I thought I'd go further back. Yeah. And hey, how hard it's is a it bit... to check the angles oh my God, when you're on your own up. and you've got a stupid contraption pointed at your head? Like a stupid contraption, but I think I just have to ride my seat a bit low for first edition of BK on. What is this? Mike rides. Mike rides. Don't pretend like you don't know. Don't be right, right, mate, I'm on. I'm just. I'm trying to look at my screen as well. I've got a little screen that points at me. Nice. Ah, oh, so you can so. see what you look like. Yeah, kind of. Ah, oh, so that's why but you're pouting. <laughs> little pouty pout. Hey, I was, but, I was um, thinking how crap this is going to be when it goes out of uh, out of signal. Yeah, hopefully we don't get out of signal though. I've tried to go to a spot where I think I have good signal. Likewise. But Me too. At the bottom of a hill about to go through a bridge. Yeah. Well done, mate. Yeah. Well done, mate. <laughs> I've got a tunnel coming up as well. But... All right, we're all right. This is it. Yeah, so talk, talk, us, talk me through your contraption. Your contraption. Well, I think my contraption is having a few issues right now. I heard some, some tape flex, but that could... That could help it, whatever it's called, like the angle. Oh, it doesn't sound good, man. I need to get on some smoother ground. I've got, what have I got? One, two, three, four rental handlebars, a piece of wood, and a shit ton of duct tape. <laughs> nice! And, um, I mean, even a piece of duct tape across the bars that you can't actually see in this sick video. Really? So you went to town? We went to town. I like, I know, I'm into your mic rides, even though you're not. No, I right am, now. don't say that. This is, you know, <laughs> I've started this as episode, this is episode three. So it's going, it's going up regardless now. This is episode three, what's two? Two's the one I've just, I actually filmed on this same ride. Oh, someone's coming. How, uh, hello. How, inse how insecure <laughs> do you get when someone comes past you and you've got all this gubbins on? Dude, I actually didn't really get what you meant when you were talking about it before. And then now I'm on the mic ride. I'm like, wow, why have I got so much stuff on me? Dude, it's tough, isn't it? Because like a normal person just looks at that like, what are you doing? Whoa. What's this guy doing? But hopefully, people at home in the lockdown will find this entertaining if my camera doesn't snap into. I mean, ultimately, yeah, I think we got backed into a corner, dude. Oh, one of us is losing signal already. Oh no, have you gone out? Yeah, we're losing two. Yeah, That's probably my think, bad. Hey, I'm going to bomb up the signals. hill. It'll, it'll be funny anyway. Do you know what's annoying is you can't hear the like uh, losing signal sound effect in either of our mics. That would be oh, really good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The P 
people will just get the really annoying, you know, when they're on the phone for like, your family or your mum or relatives, you know, I can't hear you, wait, have you got I'm in a tunnel, coffee? he's gone. And they get that Dude, this is, this is maybe the worst idea, but now, whatever. Now, I'm not sorry, you might be talking we'll to, you, to me. Yes, I got you. But you guys can't hear that. I just went through a tunnel then, that's why. Wow. Now I'm just cycling, talking to a camera. Just like, oh. I should check who it's it is. Maybe it's not that weird though. Who do you reckon it is? Is it me or is it Bernard? Comment below. Dude, how annoying is it that people can't overtake cyclists? And um, what people can do. Like that. And see some cool channels. I've got 4G, bro. Maybe you'll like my videos, maybe you won't. We're solid. We're gold. Try so calling bad. him back. This is a bad I idea. Oh, yeah. mic ride trip. So friendly. I am so I got a lot of tape noises. so friendly. I got extra tape to make this better if we need to. But we'll see. We'll see where we go. Bonjour. Hello. I've got three bars uh, of 4G. Is it me or you? Uh, I think it was you. I think I'm pretty good. All right. Nice. I'm going to ride it's even slower than I was before, so. That we have less chance of going out signal. Oh, dude, I've lost a handlebar. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you need a camera pointing at your rig, don't you, really? At my camera? Yeah, wait. If I'm quick enough with this, I've got spare tape with me to try and fix this while we're on the mic rides. This is a train wreck mic ride, man. This is a train wreck. But <laughs> it's the first of, um, it's the, the first guess. of its type. The first of its kind. The first e-guest. Not only a guest, a guest that's like... <laughs> not actually here on my ride. But you're going to send me the dude. footage, right? Dude, all this footage is coming to you, including you've got such a close-up of me right now trying to take this fucking shitty contraption. Nice. It's like we're in the LSD. Dude, you're so deep amongst it right now. You have no How idea. How long is this mic ride going to be, by the way? I don't know, however long people want. We should get that at the end of this. People can tell you if they want them longer or shorter. Or... Good idea. Dude, you know the bad thing about this is I'm kind of far from home now. Are you? And you like maybe 10 k's. No, but you've ridden you've ridden that far with a stupid. Well, well, I wanted to like have good signal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good man. Oh my effort. god, man. What's your plans today then? Because you, you you actually are uh, relentlessly punching out the YouTube content, aren't you? Oh, this tape might actually be working so good. Yeah, as you'll see when you get my clip, I'm quite serious about YouTube right now, which I think you'll find out as as this clip comes through on Dropbox later today. Yeah. And so yesterday, I have a quick stop on my mic ride. Yeah. Yeah, no worries, mate. All right, no worries. We'll pause. All right, I'll keep talking on mine. What are you doing then? You're just you're just taking the camera out, and this is going to be so hard to put together, isn't it? <laughs> Do you want to call me back? Oh, cool. Right, so Bernard's probably cut out of his own footage, so he's changing cards on his camera. I can still hear him, but you can't hear him, and we're not going to get any footage of this moment. So there's a strange moment. I feel like this episode might be filled with... Right, are you back now? So now we're good to go. Where? What's this? Is this your digging project? <laughs> Relentless. Nice! How's that going for you? So what is the total number of whoops that you're trying to get? in the whole thing. 15. It's a lot of work. Oh, I look forward to it. I do actually, I do actually thoroughly enjoy. Do you know, I, I sort of, when, whenever I film something of myself, I'm, I uh, sort of weirdly hope that my friends don't see it. But then equally, I really enjoy watching yours and I'm, I enjoy watching my friends' YouTube videos. Well, I'm glad to hear it, Ollie. 
I just won't do shit again. Right, earlier on in this mic ride, I picked, I went to do, a, no, it wasn't, it was in the last mic ride, the last episode, I picked up a yep. bag of what I thought was litter, yep. and it was a bag of dog poo. And now I've got dog poo on my fingers. Yeah, This ride? Yeah, on, no, on last week's episode, oh, or see. last episode, episode two, I did it. But episode two has now seamlessly come into this ride and my finger still smells like, of dog poo. Like so. dog shit. Would you oh, ever get like a dog, a dog shit? Are you a dog guy? I actually never asked I'm, you that. I know you have other weird pets. For everyone at home, Ollie, I'm sure you has a snake. Well, I've had a snake, now living under his floorboards. No, I still have a snake, it's just free range. Uh, <laughs> I'm, a big, I'm a big time dog guy. I've always been a dog guy. Of course you've got, got Daisy. My family dog, yeah. But the thing is, I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could have one at the moment in life, you know? It's a lot of responsibility. Yeah, and I want to do it when I'm like pottering around a lot more. <laughs> I mean, obviously I'm pottering around a lot in, in this pandemic, but, but um, oh, yeah, in life. Camera. I don't want to be going life. on trips and stuff, do you know what I mean? Yeah, because you like miss your dog at home and you're like, where is it? Yeah. They are so it's fun, not... man. I've had one kicking around lately. Wicked. And pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. They are great, aren't they? How nice is it coming home when you've got an animal at home? Dude, the actual best. How do they give you so much love? Like, I've never seen how much love they give you. But it's, it's great, isn't it? And that house just doesn't seem quite as nice when you don't have an animal there coming yeah. home to one. Have you still got the three-wheeled cat? Three-wheeled cat still going, the Reliant. Reliant She's still the cat going market. You could say. She, she is Reliant on the cat market. She's uh, she's well nice now. She's actually a bit horrible. She um, So she's got a little habit of uh, biting my feet in bed. Ooh. Which is, yeah, but it's become a game and it happens every night. So I've had to start uh, shutting her out of the bedroom. Yeah, that's no good. And then she sits the other side of the bedroom door <laughs> and she scratches the door and meows until like four in the morning. Shit, that's so that's why I got good. bags under my eyes, dude, you know? Yeah, you got it. Well, Kitten problems. Have a good cat, so we should probably talk about bikes or something like people that like bikes that hopefully follow you. Yeah, so my last episode I did I did topics, but I guess the topic is kind of you. But it could also be how <clears throat> how weird this all is. I guess I've well, seen you quite a few starting. times. No, I mean like fucking pandemic, dude. Like, I guess I've seen you quite a lot because you, you shout when you're yeah, outside I'm my window. I'm so lucky when I ride past your house, I shout from the other side of the road. It's like EastEnders or something weird. I get to be like, it is, my it? friend Ollie, have a look at me when I go yeah. on my bike ride. Lonely. How weird is it riding at the minute without the gang? It's weird because I come and see oh. you, or not oh, see yeah. you. Oh yeah. I get to see you. What, sorry? I get to see you from a distance at your window. And I'm like, yeah. hey Ollie, I'm gonna go ride your trails, see you in a bit. And then you're like, yeah, I'm gonna ride my trails later on my own. So it's weird. Yeah, well, it just seems pointless, doesn't it? I'm glad that everyone's taking it seriously though. Yeah. Like I don't know anyone who's not, which is cool. No, I, it would be frustrating if, if uh, someone wasn't. Yeah, I feel like we're I doing think. our bit, which is cool because at the end of the day, we love biking and nature. And I can't yeah. wait to get back to biking and nature with oh, all my I can't friends. wait either. With the full gang. Yeah. The full gang. It's funny, isn't it? Because you look back to just before we this this like pandemic thing hit or whatever, yeah. and we were out that. doing that long jump thing with Pill. Oh my god, the long and jump like, of doom. Yeah, and packing activities, and it just seems so long ago already, dude. Like we've barely been, like really in time time wise, it's like the length of one trip, isn't it? Like dude, you go away for ages doing world yeah. cups, like. I guess I sort of don't see you for months at a time. But it feels, this feels way, way longer. longer. You just, yeah, you. Do you know weird, what's weird about this as well? Which is a good point for this on the YouTube thing. Is I had someone comment last night like, wow, all you pros, or this and that, I can't believe you're not sticking to the rules, etc., etc., on the Long Jump of Doom video. And that was five weeks ago. Like, it That's so weird, how people it? don't even like read an upload date or ask questions before accusing. It's hey, real weird. But. Or, or understand the concept of time. Yeah, time happens. And things like that. And bikes very happen. strange indeed, very strange indeed. But you sort of feel like you've got to be careful, don't you? Like, I don't know, I, f I feel like I've got to be careful. I don't want to put anything up that, that makes people think it's okay. That sounds so stupid, but I guess you feel, if, if anyone looks at, if anyone looks at anything you do, you don't want to be giving the wrong message, you know? No, totally. I agree, I agree. The, um, I was going to ask you about but, one other thing about this. Oh, what, what travel bike you want to talk bikes to people, not just other stuff? 
okay my bike things, but... is it, my bike is actually my 150 focus jam what are you on 150 at the back yeah 150 at the back what, what have you got front up front we've got 160. okay i'm on a 142 out back switchblade yeah. with a 160 up front 29 though are you 29 no, I'm 27.5. What are your thoughts? Actually, I, I know your thoughts because I actually, I actually watched your video, and I was really pleased that you didn't just say. I'm, I was really pleased that you actually said what you thought about like bike sizes and stuff. Okay, thanks. Sorry. Yeah, people always go way too big on bike sizes. I had someone message me the other day. I'm gonna turn out here because I think I lose something like that. I had someone message me the other day, be like, "Hey man, have you got any uh, XLs for sale?" I was like, "No, sorry, largest." He's like, oh, "I need XLs." I was like, "Oh, why? How tall are you?" And he said five foot eight. <laughs> a guy, I'm five foot eleven, maybe just over. And so some, someone asked me that's five foot eight, five foot nine for an XL, and I ride a medium and a large. What sucks though is that actually it's gonna make it like you can't not only is it gonna suck actually in the moment riding, <laughs> like so bad. but you're not gonna be able to like you're not gonna be able to like learn. How would you throw like, it around or learn to manual on a bike that big, like a gate? You'd be on a gate. The, yeah, dude, I think for all of us. The best time to learn was when you were underbiked on a small little. It's what you learn so much on a hardtail. So much. Totally is. Yeah, yeah people need to ride hard I guess. Anymore, so. I, do, I guess it's different for everyone though. Yeah. I guess biking is completely different to everyone. It's just the best though. Like I actually get out of the house and the I was happy pedaling up the road to do this because I get to pedal while we're doing this. That's why I reckon yeah, it's, it's a good, good concept. It? And do you know what? It's probably less stress. It's not, I'm not like stressed, but my camera setup, if you see it, it's yeah. a bit much, if I'm honest. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, but you might get really crystal clear quality. No, I will for my POV camera as I well. Think it's not I think I'm going to get a POV camera next time. Same setup, yeah. but I won't have three kilos oh, yeah. on the end. So that would yeah, be good. Yeah. Um, I'm going to start heading back home, to be fair. But oh, yeah. Really what is, it, is that this ride over? I'm trying We've probably to... talked for ages. Do you know what? It? I've got hopefully yeah. I'm trying to buy a car, but obviously I can't pick it up during the pandemic. Oh, that was, do you know, that was my subject last week. Because I've got so many oh, topics yeah, to yeah. talk about. Cars was one I'll of the subjects. Last time. So this is definitely oh, my no, we ran out of signal. Typical, well, man. We'd have to get a good combo going. Crazy contraption. Typical. Everyone's seen my bum bag. As soon as I run out of signal, I realise I'm completely alone in the woods with a camera strapped to my head in a dildo shape. Well, you so back? Weird. Rider. Yeah, I'm back. I lost you at the same point and I had to go past the horse rider. Oh, I know. Actually, for sure. How? Thought I was so How lonely weird, did you man. get when. Yeah. I, I think I, I instantly see... realised I was completely alone with a dildo on my head. Dude, when you see my setup, you're going to not even feel remotely as lame as I do. <laughs> Wicked. Well, right, so what, I, I don't know what you heard, what you heard, yeah. but. In my last episode, I talked about cars. Yeah, what did you talk and, about? Um, well, I just—I actually just gave the rundown of my vehicles from, because, yeah, I gave that, the rundown of my vehicles. Obviously, I, I haven't had as many vehicles as you, but I, I gave down the rundown on my vehicles and vehicles that I wanted to get. Okay. Well, at the minute, I'm trying to buy a thing. We're going to call the cheese grater. I suppose to Johnny Jones. So oh. We're going to call it the cheese grater. And Dude, I've seen it. It's the coolest thing ever. It's the one you sent send me, right? No, is it not the same one then? Is it the miniature, miniature thing? No. Oh, oh not no. Not the GMC. Not the van. I'm still trying to get the van. The new cheese okay. grater, man. It is insane. The cheese grater. Should we, should we quickly put right. a link of this in? Like, I can send it to you right now on camera if you stop. How does that work, though? You can just put a photo of it in the chat after I send you this. So people, it will just right, pop yeah, up. I'll, I'll try and do it, yeah, I'll try and do it. Actually, that is one thing I can do, because I don't know if you noticed, but I've mastered graphics. You are very good at graphics. No, but you need to have a reaction Thanks, now. Like, you need to see this, I think, in the mic tap rides. Oh, well, I can do that, I can do that. And yeah. then you'll overlay it on the screen so people can also see the cheese grater. I wonder how this is going to work, whether Dude. I need to put, like, both our screens up next to each other. No, you just cut back and forth. See, I've sent this, then you'll cut now to you, seeing the cheese grater. You talk with confidence that I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to keep rolling. Right, tell me when you see the oh, cheese grater. Oh, please get the cheese grater, man. Have you seen the cheese grater? Please get it. <laughs> and that's fiberglass body as well. Oh, dude, that is a 47cc hey. cheese grater right there. 
I don't know if the camera picks this up. I'm actually just holding my phone up. It's easier. Oh, not over there, yeah. How good is that? Well, people should comment if they want me to get the cheese grater. They should. I think I'm up for the cheese grater. I think I'm up for you getting the cheese grater. I'm quite a fan of the three-wheel cars. Well a lot good. of people haven't noticed, so. You're a big, you're a big three-wheel connoisseur. Yeah, you should do an episode of. Uh, we should do an episode just on your um, on the fleet, cars yeah. and the, the history of the, the fleet. Actually, you've got a lot of cars that you keep, haven't you? It's quite good. I keep most. I've only sold a couple. Yeah. So right, well, I guess we should wrap this thing up because it's probably going to be like an hour long. Yeah, but people are loving them, man. I put a 43 minute one up the other day and they aren't hating it, I hope. Really? Yeah, wicked. I just find it fun and if like, people don't want to watch the whole thing, they don't need to, so it's whatever. So. Also, do you put adverts in your ones? Uh, like a couple sometimes. Oh, a couple, okay. Yeah. A couple adverts on Bernard Kerr's YouTube channel. So. Yeah, yeah. I guess you should plug it. Like, like, share, subscribe. The... We've got cars, motorbikes and bikes. I think they're going to be my three main categories that we put in it. So it's quite an open Dude, kind of channel. YouTube collabing as we speak. Yeah. Incredible. Well, I'm looking forward to trying to edit this and see if it actually works. Yeah. And if not, it was a great conversation anyway, and it's lovely to hear from you. All right, Ollie. Well, I've got people in a car looking at me super weird, so. I <laughs> like weird things in here. Nice one. Cheers, dog. Dog. Thanks for the first mic ride uh, pandemic Skype call. Oh, all right. You want to call Have that. a good one. I'll speak to you in a bit. Peace, brother. Bye. Speak to you in a bit. Bye. He's gone. That was nice, wasn't it? Have someone else join us on our rides. Um, I don't feel like we covered much. Let's wrap it up. That was episode three. Giant thanks to our guest Bernard Kerr, who uh, joined us through his crazy contraption. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in episode four. I don't even know. Groundhog day over here. Don't know what's going on.